Hey guys, this is Sean from Shantha.com and in this video we are going to perform the Antutu benchmarking test on Infinix Note 3 Pro smartphone and we will be seeing that how much score it's going to achieve and we will compare the result, the score with the rest of the smartphones as well. Infinix Note 3 Pro comes with 3GB of RAM, Android 6 Marshmallow OS, it is having Mali T720 GPU and a MediaTek octa-core processor so let's just start our test now and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this test so here we go graphics after that UX and RAM and rest of this stuff and the overall score will be the sum of all these four tests so you can see that there is a slight frame drops and basically it's because of the GPU that's Mali T720 GPU used in this. It's uh, an old GPU and it is having a very bad reputation for uh, low performance. But let's see that how much score we are going to get. As you can see clearly that we are having lots of frame drops here and a bit lagging as well. So 3D graphics test is finished and now it's RAM testing after that it's CPU and then UX. And let me tell you that this is a brand new device uh, there are no games application or any other stuff um, installed on this there is no images or videos consuming the 
uh, space on this device so the RAM and memory and the processor is totally free from any type of consumption just few benchmarking applications are installed that we will be using in our another video for a detailed benchmarking review right now there are just three or four applications are installed and there is no uh, data in internal storage and no background process is going on as well here right now So now the last test is going on that's for UX user experience So the test is finished and the score is 39,515 and actually it's very low. Um, if we just go to this individual test here for 3D graphics, UX, CPU and RAM you can see that for UX and CPU the performance is okay but when we are talking about 3d graphics it is very poor our infinix note 3 pro achieved just 5223 and you can see that because of that the overall score is just 39515 we can consider it as 40k but still it's uh, pretty bad because if we just go to the ranking tab you can have a look on the scores of other devices so for huawei mate 8 it's 92,000 and if you have a look on uh, some other smartphones that on which we have performed the benchmarking test before you can see that that iPhone is going as high as 160k Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is around 130k HTC 10 also 130k but those are the high specs devices now let's talk about something in the range of our Infinix Note 3 Pro. If you are talking about HTC Desire 10 Pro, it is also having a Helio P10 processor, just an improved version of what we are having in Note 3 Pro. But the GPU used there is Mali T860 and here what we got is T720. So Infinix Note 3 Pro achieved 40,000 and Desire 10 Pro is achieving 80,000. So even though the CPU is not much different because of the GPU, the score of Desire 10 Pro is much more than Infinix Note 3 Pro. And we can have a look on the rest of the smartphones that HTC One M9, that's last year's flagship device by HTC, it has scored 80,000. Let's keep going back and down and here you can find at 14th position. That's the last spot in this list as you can see Vivo X5 Pro achieved 46,000 Lenovo K3 Note achieved 46,300 
uh, Lay TV, One S, that's also all of these devices that are pretty old. It achieved 55,000. LG G4 is having 65,000 score. So you can get the idea that the entry benchmarking score of our Note 3 Pro is not good. It's poorer than the smartphone of last year, and even uh, with this year's smartphone, it is pretty bad if you're comparing the mid-range segment. But this is all about the benchmarking scores. We will do an another detailed benchmarking review where we will be performing a few more tests to see that how good Infinix Note 3 Pro is going to uh, perform. And we will be doing a detailed gaming review where we will be seeing that in real life scenario how good Infinix Note 3 Pro is performing, not just in the uh, benchmarking scores because sometimes the score is different but the real life performance of the device comes out different. So we will be checking that as well. But if you are just talking about the entry benchmarking score of Infinix Note 3 Pro, that's just 40,000 and it's pretty bad because if you have a look on our previous review of uh, various Infinix smartphones, you can see that they are achieving much better score than Infinix Note 3 Pro here. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, enhancing reviews like this. Have a nice day.